um, Lisa Stansfield, Kate Bush and me have in common? You're all megastars. <laughs> yeah, but there isn't. No, seriously, <laughs> what is it? Well, I don't know. Well, we've all sung with the oldest name in pop. Cliff Richard. No, the official oldest name in pop. Mary Adler. <laughs> Larry, it is a delight to meet you, I can't tell you. And it's just remarkable to listen to you playing like this. Many congratulations on being a record breaker at last. Well, it amazes me. I never thought it. You know, I had tried to get into the Guinness Book once before, claiming a, a place as the only tennis player in the world who couldn't beat anybody. <laughs> but they said there's probably a seven-year-old girl somewhere that I could beat, so they wouldn't accept my claim. Now, the album, The Glory of Gershwin, went straight in at number two in the charts. I mean, young artists of today would, would kill for that. Well, they? this artist probably would too, but I did not know, I truly didn't know, that the album would take off like that. I knew with the kind of pop names that I was working with, there would be attention paid to the record. I knew it would be a good seller, but that it would come in at number two? No, I did not anticipate that. We wear your hat. The memory of all that No, they can't take that away from me Well, it started with a phone call from Sting. Mm. He called me up and said, I hear you're going to make a record for your 80th birthday. I said, yes. He said, would you like me to sing on it? Well, that changed my whole concept of the record. I had planned a classical recording. But with Sting making me an offer like that, I decided to make it all pop stars. Mm. And then I had the idea of a unifying theme, the music of Gershwin, who I think, and of course, I don't think I can be quite objective about this, is the greatest popular composer of the 20th century. Why the mouth organ? I'm glad you asked me that. No, I read in the paper when I was about 12 years old, there was a mouth organ band being formed in Baltimore, which is where I come from. And I wasn't interested in the mouth organ, but I'd studied the piano. I went down just to see what it was like. And I found I had a natural facility for playing the mouth organ. And that was my passport to get the hell out of Baltimore, which I couldn't wait to do. And so all else above. such a hard instrument to play and he makes it sound so beautiful and uh, you know as I say he's the number one person on his instrument that ever has been and that, that's an achievement. One of my favorite tracks on the record I mean it's hard to pick out anyone as the favorite but I love Elton John for the purity and the musical integrity he shows when he does Someone to Watch Over Me which is one of my favorite Gershwin ballads. Mm. Larry Adler. <laughs> 